right, just come across another dog walker. They're just up there, look. I don't know if you can see them. Just disappearing into the distance, just about there. Right, come on in this way, guys. We took a different, we took a side shoot because he was coming up behind us. Snoop, wrong side. Thank you. Come on this way, Snoop. So we get back on our track again now. No, Snoop, come here, Snoop. You're going the wrong side of me. Snoop, stop, stop, Snoop, stop. Right, go on then. Snoop keeps going around the back of my legs. He keeps cheese wiring me with his um his lead. Come on, sit this way. Right, here we go. Get back on our route again. Just had to move to one side. <clears throat> right, we're turning left here, guys. This way. Come on then. No, this way. This way. This way. This way. Come on. Here we go. Right, so he's got the right idea. There you go, Snoop. Right, we're on the we're on the winner. <laughs> go on, off he goes. Right. You see that going down like a tunnel of trees. We're on top of an old railway line here, albeit uh, well overgrown. It's a lovely walk, very fairly level, uh, but it does bring out into meadows at the far end, which are really overgrown. Uh, the further away you get from um, the villages, the more um, overgrown it becomes. Close to the villages, it's a more well-used route, and so the paths are a lot clearer. But the further out you go, yeah, <laughs> a little bit wilder, which is what I like. And you don't tend to meet many people when you do this, which is what I love. Right, need to talk about something, don't we? Um, I've got the Glasgow trip looming a couple of weeks away now, guys, but it'll be two weeks to the day I'll be driving up there. As we speak now, I'll be on my way up there. I'll probably have to leave early in the morning, uh, probably about three, three or four in the morning to leave to go up there, because it's a long drive and I've got to do stops for the boys. Can't just go up there and just carry on driving. I've got to keep stopping for my boys. It's only fair, and I'll probably have to stop for my lunch anyway. So, yes, so this time, two weeks' time, I'll be on the road, guys. <laughs> yeah, I've got to work out what I've got to pack as well, haven't I? Uh, I haven't given it a lot of thought yet. I've got to find a bag as well. I'm sure I've got a bag somewhere, I like a um, carrier bag uh, to put my clothes in. I'm sure I've got it somewhere, but I don't know where. But... It's a problem, it's probably still in one of the boxes. I've got lots of cardboard boxes still full of stuff from when I moved up. And I need to go through them to try and find <laughs> my bits and bobs. So that's something I could do today, actually. Um, dog beds, the dogs, I've got these um, uh, like travel, um, I don't know what you call them. It's like a little dog box or dog kennel. They're flat pack, they're really good. Whenever I go on holiday, I always take these, they've got one each, and you put them in at night, and I zip them in, so they stay in their little bed box. Um, and that's really good, they like it as well, because during the day, I'll air them all out, and freshen up the bedding, and leave them zipped open. And a lot of times, if the dogs just want to go and have a lay down somewhere, they go back into their little bed boxes, and curl up and go to sleep, which is really nice. Go on, off you go. There's a little bit of home from home for them. So that's great. Uh, a bit like the car, the car's very much a home from home for them because they, they do a lot of driving with me. I do lots of trips with my boys and they curl up in the back of the car. And again, they love the car. If I've got the car uh, at my old property, I used to do a lot of work on it. And I used to have the back door open and the dog's bedding is in the back anyway. And if I was up the garden working on my car, the dogs would come up the top of the garden, they'd jump in the back of the car. Because <laughs> uh, the, the bedding was in there and they knew where I was, they were with me. And so that's really nice. So they treat the car like a, a bed box as well, I suppose. But it's great. They feel secure and safe in there, which is really nice. Go on in. Yeah, we go everywhere together, me and the boys. Absolutely everywhere together. 
thought I saw somebody coming. It's right, it's just the shadows. Yeah, it's all clear. So yeah, so that is two weeks to go, guys. And this is where it all starts. My first proper greet and meet will be happening two weeks time. Yeah, I'm get, I get so excited about this. I have no fear. <laughs> Just really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Meeting like-minded people uh, who will accept you for who you are. Uh, and to be able to chat and sit down and yeah just ha have a really good time that's what i'm looking forward to yeah that's it's really good <laughs> silly smile i know <laughs> but yeah i keep thinking about it thinking that's be so nice go on then off you go oh this is gorgeous guys this is so nice i keep getting the sun coming through the trees beside me and this is lovely i've got one hot side <laughs> My shaded side isn't so warm, but I'll turn around and come back this way anyway. This is lovely. Right, I'm gonna sign that, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>